System76 new Galago Pro just dropped as a top-of-the-line Linux Ubuntu-ready Ultrabook. Not only with all the ports and a really sweet screen, but it also comes with upgradable insides. Never upgraded a laptop? Don't worry, I'm going to show you how with the Galago Pro. Hey everyone, I'm Shannon Morse from TechThing and I'm upgrading the Galago Pro. Whenever you are considering upgrading a laptop, first check what kind of components are actually user replaceable and which components are compatible with the laptop. This will not only save you time, but potentially it will save you a lot of money as well. Power off your laptop and unplug it from the charger. Flip it over and unscrew the 10 screws around the bottom cover. Keep these somewhere safe. I use my iFixit cover, for example, but you can use pretty much anything. The last two screws have a keyboard icon next to them. Unscrew these and then store them separately from the other 10 screws. See, these two screws are a little bit longer and they screw in the keyboard, so they aren't compatible with the other 10, so you definitely don't want to get those mixed up. Now you open up the lid to pop out the keyboard and make sure to do it carefully. I found the iFixit spudger fit perfectly for this. By the way, this video is not sponsored. I'm just a really big fan of both System76 and iFixit. Now when you are popping out the keyboard, do it slowly so you don't pull on the two connector cables which are right underneath it. Unplug those two cables very slowly so you don't end up damaging them. Now you have got access to three screws underneath the keyboard. Unscrew these three, keep them in a safe place, and then flip over your laptop again to gain access to all of the fun components. In the case of the Galago Pro, I can upgrade the main components such as the RAM, the main M.2 SSD, and I could add another 2.5 inch drive for storage. The RAM is dual channel DDR4 laptop RAM, which is not soldered onto the board, which is super great. You can remove the two side levers and pull the RAM out quite easily. And then to replace, you slide in the new RAM and make sure you put it in the right way. So make note of how the original RAM was set in place. And then you push the two side levers together till you hear a very satisfying little click noise. The storage drive is an M.2 NVMe SSD, PCIe compatible for the operating system, and it has a screw holding it in place. Simply unscrew this, pull out the drive, and then replace it with the new one and pop that screw back in. Lastly, a separate 2.5 inch 7 mm height drive slot is available for additional files. You can grab yourself an internal SSD that fits that size, match it up to the open ports to fit it into place, and you're ready. Other hardware you have access to include the battery, the fan, and the wireless AC card. Now you just have to put everything back together starting with your M.2 screw. So screw that back in, stick the bottom plate back on, and then screw on those three keyboard screws. Take your keyboard and carefully set the two two cables back into their respective ports. In this case, having nails was very useful. Be wary of bending or pinching these cables as these make your keyboard work and you want that to work. Once that is done, press firmly down on the keyboard to get it back into place. Pro tip, I found sliding it into the slots on the bottom and then popping the top slots back in worked really well. And then you want to flip over your machine and screw your bottom screws back on. You should have two longer keyboard screws and the 10 remaining ones. Hopefully you didn't lose any of those. And now you're done. It's an easy process. Just be careful around the components and treat them with care, just like you would with any other technology. Now you can power the laptop back on and check your hardware. If you want to see more videos like this one, hit up youtube.com slash tech thing and make sure to hit the little notification bell so you can see our videos as soon as they hit the internets. And yes, I did say internets. I'm Shannon Morris, and we will be back on Thursday with another main show.